Rudolf Steiner, whose teachings led to anthroposophical medicine, biodynamic farming, and the Waldorf School, said that the heart is a seven-sided regular form that sits in an imaginary box in the chest. Regular means that all seven sides are identical. Plato described five platonic solids, and Steiner said there was a sixth one. He also said that the heart is not a pump. This fantastic claim was vindicated by Frank Chester, who figured out how to design a seven-sided regular form. This sixth platonic solid is now called the chestahedron, and it fits perfectly inside a cube at an angle of 36 degrees off-center to the left, the exact same angle that the heart sits in the chest. When submerged in water and spun, two counter-rotating vortices are formed. Recent scientific studies have shown that these two vortices facilitate the closing of the valves, and when the vortices don't form properly, blood clots will appear. The man who unfolded a thousand hearts, Paco Torrent Guasp, discovered that the heart is a single muscular band folded over itself in a spiraling pattern. The heart itself is a vortex of tissue. It is not a pump, it is a vortex machine. For centuries, it was believed that matter can only exist in three states, such as water, which can exist as liquid, ice, and vapor. Human cells are 70% water, but most of this water is not in any of these three states. We have recently learned that with water, there is a fourth state. This fourth state is called the plasma state, gel phase, exclusion zone, or structured water. And this is what pushes your blood through the entire cardiovascular system. Fueled by infrared energy from its environment, the water in our body becomes an electrical propulsion system. A certain percentage of the water in our body becomes structured water, and the rest remains normal liquid water, or bulk water. The structured water becomes negatively charged and forms the gelatinous outer walls of our capillaries, veins, and arteries. These negatively charged outer walls continuously propel the positively charged bulk water within, carrying the blood with it. This propulsion system will run indefinitely so long as it stays charged, and the way you charge it is with the Earth's electromagnetic field, infrared energy, and positive thought. The work of Dr. Misaru Emoto has scientifically demonstrated that water exposed to loving human words and thoughts is transformed into its natural hexagonal shape. It becomes structured at a molecular level based on our positive intention. This new model shows that it is the blood that pumps the heart, not the other way around. And in order to keep the flow strong and healthy, our best medicine is to connect to the earth, get sunlight, love ourselves, and love one another with physical touch. Victor Schauberger spent his life studying water and found that in the natural world, water will always create vortices along its path. Schauberger learned that this spiral action is what structures the water in nature and that when subjected to modern man-made water treatment, it loses its structure. Schauberger's work led him to believe that one could generate energy out of a vortex. He described it as an energy implosion, as opposed to an energy explosion. Dr. Tom Cowan, who has written about this in Human Heart, Cosmic Heart, has an interesting theory which may explain the saying, a heart of gold. Another recent discovery is that gold in its purest form does not appear to be gold at all. Under the right conditions, normal, physical gold can be transformed into a fine white powder known as monatomic gold. This monatomic gold has been studied by multiple advanced laboratories, and it has very strange properties. It can be made to levitate and disappear. Monatomic gold is superconductive, and many would argue that this is what the alchemists were after. One of the ways of turning metallic gold into monatomic gold is by putting it through a high-speed vortex. When this transformation occurs, there is a flash of light and a 44% loss in weight. Dr. Cowan believes that the trace amounts of gold in our blood is transformed into monatomic gold as it travels through the double vortices in the heart, creating the spark of life. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.